um, not only for the foundation that they have laid, uh, but the men that they are and how hard they compete. Um, so proud of the, of the men that stepped in that arena tonight and fought as hard as men could fight in, in a good college football game. Um, we came up short tonight, uh, but that was a valiant effort uh, by our seniors uh, and a bunch of kids fighting their butts off to try to win a, win a ball game. Um, you know, the best is yet to be. Uh, I truly believe that. I watch the men that are out there, both old and young, and see guys that are truly talented individuals that will develop in, into a quality football team that can win championships. I, I know that and I believe that in them. Um, from about this team, we talk about the future. Obviously, uh, you know, we'll meet again, uh, just like we normally do after ball games. Uh, and, and I know that uh, he'll uh, he'll be able to say, you know, exactly what is on his mind for the future. Uh, I, like I said earlier, I'm fully confident in the support that I have, not only from Mr. Swan, but this administration. Uh, they have been terrific to me, our staff, and our football team. Uh, and I know that we'll get their continued support. Uh, and we'll do a better job not only for them, but our Trojan family. Yeah, you saw a lot more uh, cover two, uh, you know, a lot more drop A, a lot more pass defense just to, you know, prevent the quick game from, uh, you know, just beating them like it was in the first half. Can't really hit me yet. Um, I sit on the bench towards the end of the game, and it was it's kind of weird and sitting in the locker room, um, just kind of feeling it. But it, I don't I don't know if it'll really hit me even until I see a game next year. Um, you know, watch it on TV, it'll be weird. But right now, it's just you know I'm trying to enjoy every moment of this, and you know, losses it is what it is. But you know, just enjoying wearing his pants and his jersey, and um, and just so I can look back and remember this day. Um, so. A bunch of um, things that need to happen. Uh, one is we'll go right to work as far as recruiting and, and replace the personnel um, that is getting ready to leave us. Um, you know, when you talk about losing a Cam Smith and a, a Tyler Conceed and Marvell Tell, um, you know, a Biggie Marshall, um, he, he, I said, where are all those guys that have been in that locker room for a long time? That's where it first starts. The second thing is, is we have to be able to learn um, how to eliminate the mistakes, all right, and eliminate mistakes and teach young people how to make sure that both from decision making and from fundamentals and techniques that we take care of that because we'll be in more close ball games. We play a tough, tough schedule each and every year, and the, and the last four losses have been for seven points and seven points at last. You know? And then, you know, as far as, as far as um, uh, personnel and staff changes, uh, I'll sit back and, and see where we're at, uh, and I'll visit with Mr. Swan uh, and, and do exactly what needs to be done moving forward. Uh, uh, but uh, right now, uh, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to hug a lot of necks, tell them thank you for uh, competing for our football family for, for a long time, these seniors. Uh, I'm going to go home and watch this tape. Uh, and then get ready to go on the road recruiting because uh, that's, that's the number one thing right now is, is making sure that we bring in the right personnel uh, for the. Scary G with the MM Valley News reporting.